so what do you think some of the most common mistakes that new traders make in the first sort of few years of their investing? And, and have you got any advice on how they might avoid them? I think, I think one of the key problems is the analysis and comprehension of risk. Understanding how not to lose your capital. Because I think your first rule must always be preservation of capital. It takes people quite a lot of time to save up to get a pot to invest or to trade with. You don't want to lose it all in the first week. And I think that comprehension of risk, preservation of capital is the most crucial uh, rule and so many get it wrong. And then the trouble is, is if you don't put a stop loss on or whatever, and then the position actually works for you and actually you, you get dug out of a hole because markets have turned. That can be even more damaging because it actually teaches you to avoid the risk measures. So I, I would say pretty much risk and a failure to be disciplined on risk. You know, trading and investing are quite disciplined um, things and I think particularly trading and it's that discipline to manage your risk that I think many people get wrong at the beginning. Everything in life is about experience, isn't it? Mm. How do you enter a trading environment when you're a novice without experience? What can you do to give yourself a fighting chance? The first thing you need to do is learn how to do it properly. Don't be sucked in by all these websites, you know, promising you instant riches, okay? It, it, if it was that easy, everybody would do it. It's not easy, it's really, really difficult. So the first thing is learn, do a lot of reading, learn about what you are doing because there are an awful lot of charlatans out there desperate to take their money off you. It's called churn and burn. So if you're a you know, whatever website um, and you churn and burn your clients, so you're basically relying on just a whole stream of people, ready fools, who are willing to you know, burn their money instantly, giving you shed loads of trading commission. One that, once you've burnt that one, you move on to the next one. So you churn them in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, generate massive commissions. Uh, and then once they've run out of their capital, you chuck them out the door. It's called churn and burn. Don't be a victim of churn and burn. That would be my initial point. Uh, so the first thing I'd say is, is learn to do it properly. Don't be sucked in by all this advertising that you're going to become an instant millionaire. You are not. Learn to do it properly. Realise it's going to absorb a lot of your time if, it do, if you do it properly. If, if you are thinking of becoming a day trader. I would advise against that, but you know, there you go. Um, and then paper trade. So just for a month or two, two paper trade, which is like, you know, put on positions, uh, but don't actually invest any capital and try to learn from your, those experiences, what you did right and what you did wrong. And again, I cannot emphasize this enough. You need to take the emotion out of the decision. So write down, jot down, why am I putting on this position? Da, da, da. Three reasons, whatever they are you know, I don't know, economic data from Germany's weak, you know, Euro's undervalued, what, what, whatever you want to, whatever you want to write, write them down. Then when you come out of the position, look back at those three reasons and think, well, is that the reason I'm coming out? Why, right, why am I coming out of the position? It needs to be an intellectually rigorous exercise to remove the emotion from it. You know, you're, you're, if you're just starting, you don't have any intuition. You don't know how markets move. Make it much more rigorously intellectual. Um, and then once you've been paper trading, try with just a little bit of money. But I would never, ever recommend that you, you know, you take your life savings and, and start to day trade because that is a way to hand over your money to somebody else, which is best not to do.